to Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living with Dr. Brenda Jefferson, an apostle of the Lord who teaches in the authority of Jesus Christ through the lead of the Holy Spirit, imparting wisdom and knowledge for good success through Kingdom Living. Brought to you in part by Apostle Brenda Jefferson Ministries International Covenant Partner. God bless you today. I'm Dr. Brenda Jefferson and welcome to Empowering Keys for Kingdom Living. People of God, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. You know, it is in Christ that we live, we move, and have our being. Not only that, it is in Christ that we have been made complete. People of God, I've come to declare and decree today that you are the head and not the tail, that you're above and not beneath, that you're blessed going out and you're blessed coming in. As a matter of fact, you better slow down because your blessings are trying to overtake you. People of God, I am so excited today, and I am so excited that you joined us. This is a very special program today. There is something getting ready to hit the city of Little Rock that we have not experienced before. It is an evening of honor, glory to God, and we're honoring none other than the Dr. L.E. Braggs. We are excited about it, glory to God, and guess what? I have his beautiful daughters on the set with me to tell you all about what's getting ready to happen, and before we end, glory to God, that apostle, Lakeisha Braggs, is going to share with you what she believes that God is saying in this hour. Hi, my name is Apostle Lakeisha Braggs. I'm co-pastor of the Awareness Center International Diversity Institute. I'm excited about being here. Yes, glory to God, glory to God. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. And I'm Latasha, Apostle Latasha Braggs, and I'm also excited about being here to talk about the honoring of my, my dad, my pastor, Dr. Ellie Braggs. Amen, amen. Before we get started on that, glory to God, I want to share um, kind of like how it was birthed and uh, how some calls were made, glory to God, and God dropped it in our spirits, and it's just something that we want to do, and I believe that it's going to shift some things in Little Rock because we've got to understand that it is important to honor, and I just want to share with you all before we kind of get started how um, Apostle Bragg's changed my life. Uh, I received the call of God into the ministry probably about 25 years ago, and it was a hard call, glory to God. It was not popular at that time for women to be in ministry, glory to God. And so I was ostracized. I was set aside, talked about glory to God. But I want to let you know that I woke up that morning and the Spirit of the Lord said, then it was trumpet in Zion. And he said, trumpet in Zion. And so I had to think because it was such intense warfare. And I said, it's today Thursday. And that's when uh, we used to meet. And so it was Thursday. So I went over there and he spoke into my life. And this is what I want to let you know. That night, nothing changed, but everything changed in my life. And the word that was released to him, uh, to me, it caused me to put on that, that God had called me to do. And so as a result of that, I always say that he threw out the lifeline to me. I want to say to those that are viewing today, that's listening, glory to God, if the Apostle Lawrence Braggs has touched your life in any way, you need to be at this event. So we're going to start right now. I just wanted to kind of get mine in before Lakeisha and Latasha started talking because it's going to be fire in the city on this set today. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Well, the, everybody was excited um, when my when we got the call from Sister Brenda Jefferson and her brother, Apostle yes. Clemens. Um, my dad had had a stroke, and he's been through so many things, and we had desired to do something for him. Mm -hmm. But when we got the call, it was like confirmation, okay, this is it. And life, things started happening, and we we got, we got together and met and trying to call sons and daughters, and we, the response that we got, y'all, people from all over the mm -hmm. world, not Thank just you the Lord. city, mm -hmm. are coming 
to actually pay homage, give honor. And I want to thank you for, um, you know, obeying the call. Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah. this right here is something we've been wanting to do, and we're excited about February the 23rd. All right, all right. We are excited, glory to God. And we have his other daughter, Latasha, here, and she's going to talk a little bit about the event, where it's going to be, what you can expect. People of God, mark your calendars right now for February the 23rd. It's going to all be taking place at 900 South Pine. The glory of God is going to descend on that place. But we're calling sons, we're calling daughters, glory to God. All those that he has touched your life in any way, come and let's celebrate this man of God. You said something before we go to uh, Latasha. You said something um, that he had suffered a stroke, glory to God. And I've talked to him since that time, and he realized that that was a part of some things that God was working in his life to even give him a deeper revelation. One of the things I want to say, too, is that when the Lord suffers or allows certain things to happen to us, usually it's to get us in a quiet place so we can hear the next revelation that's going to shake the world. So let's go back to Latasha, glory to God, because I'm excited about what God is doing. Let's talk a little bit about what's going to be taking place February the 23rd and where people can get more information. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, uh, Apostle Jefferson, for hearing the clarion call um, to honor my dad. Um, mm. And before I go into that, I would like to give honor to my dad. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Dr. Ellie Brax, because it is do. Mm -hmm. Long overdue. Long yes. overdue. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to do it, and like my sister said, when we heard the, I, that you wanted to do it, and mm -hmm. we hit the ball, well, we hit the ground running. Yes. And we have been working, and we got people coming from all over. We got bishops, we have pastors, we have yes, yes, apostles, yes. we mm -hmm. have sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have choirs, groups. Woo! Praise dancers, God. Mm -hmm. um, we even have people that I don't even know, I've never met, but they knew my dad, they even heard. Some people that are coming, they have never even met him, but just by social media, they wanted to be in the presence of the honoring on February the 23rd, that night. And I promise you, when you get there, your life will never be the same. Um, he is due um, not only thanks, Mm -hmm. There will be a night of thanks, um, a, nice of, uh, a night of honor, but it won't be just thanks and honor. It mm -hmm. will be tangible. Yes, it is. Yes, tangible it is. Oh, yes. Gifts. Oh, yes. And, uh, we will we be will bringing be those. Yes. Seats on that night. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, they've all been, everybody has been given um, what they're supposed to bring on that night, and we're mm -hmm. just excited. Um, and I can't wait. We have a lot of surprises in store. Can't yeah. I cannot mm -hmm. um, <laughs> reveal. But on February the 10th, if you all would look out, on social media, Facebook, and we may go live, mm. but we will be, um, excuse me, we will be announcing some that will be um, coming on that night. Uh, a few bishops, a few apostles, yeah. a few sons and daughters that have mm -hmm. already confirmed. We're mm -hmm. not through yet now. We've got two weeks out. But yes, yes, yes. Calling. Now we have people calling. Right. Mm, thank you, Lord. To, uh, be, be a honored, part. Yes. Be a part. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited, you all. Amen. Amen. Tell us again where all of this is going to take place. It's going to take place at the Awareness Center International, 900 South Pine Street, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72204. If you need more information, you can call 501 661 Four six one eight, or you can call myself 501-503-6076. It's never too late to get on the list to give <laughs> honor. I promise you, it's never too late. You can call us at any time. Amen, amen, amen. Lakeisha, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we can expect. Also that night, I know that uh, there will be those that are giving tributes to him because I promise you all, I remember when I first moved to Little Rock and he and my brother were really good friends and I would come over and boy, Sunday night, mm -hmm. that was a place to be, oh, glory yeah. to God. I'm talking about deliverance like we had not experienced before. And so we're just simply coming to say thank you, Apostle Braggs. We don't want to leave mom out. Glory to God, because she has been right there by his side. Glory to God. 
And so we just want, listen, those are that in the viewing audience, listen, go on Facebook, listen, it will be on the radio next Instagram. week, Instagram, Twitter, all of those. Yeah. Listen, February the 23rd, you don't want to miss it. Tell us some other things that's going to be going on. Well, you, as you know, I'm excited, not only because we're honoring him, but everybody knows that whether you come, honor him, and he speak at any, anywhere, it's always a closeout of orders mm -hmm. for the next move of God. Mm, so thank I'm, you, God. I'm excited mm. because when we started this year out, regardless of the situation of what's going on, like you say, God's been downloading on him. Yes, and yes, yes. we yeah. have been decreeing mm -hmm. that this is the year yes, indeed. of increase. Mm -hmm. This is our yielding season. Yes, indeed, and yes, Psalms indeed. 67 and 6 says, then shall the earth yield her increase. Yes, right. yes, so yes. So that means mm -hmm. if the earth is the Lord and the fullness of the earth, that means anything we want, anything right. we ask, anything we speak with our mouth, guess what? It's ours. That's it. So can mm -hmm. I, I don't speak to the millennials. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we're going to get her to speak to the millennials. Glory to God. You said something because uh, we embrace the Hebrew calendar as well as the Gregorian calendar. And so in the Hebrew calendar, it's 4780. Mm -hmm. While we talk about 2020 and the vision, well, the number 80 is pay in the Hebrew, mm. and it means mouth. Mm. And so it is saying that whatever you say, whatever you see, yeah. right. and you say what you see, it's going to manifest. That yielding that God is talking mm. about, see, the Bible says that we are heirs of God, yeah and join heirs with Jesus Christ. Well, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, everything, everybody dwell in it. Listen, in this season, people would be foolish not to give you what you want mm. because you're an heir of God, join heirs with Jesus Christ. The Bible said he got up with all power in heaven and earth. I'm a joint heir with that, glory to God. Luke 10 and 19, behold, I give you power to tread up on serpent, scorpion over all power of the enemy. So listen, we have to know that God has no enemy and no rival. We are the inhabitants of the earth, but we are also, the Bible says that the earth, the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the children of men. This is our inheritance. Yes, it is. And it's our yielding season. And I don't know about you, but I've got good seed in the ground. Oh, yes. And I intend to plant more seed oh, yeah. on February the 23rd. Yes, yes. So talk to us. Well, I'm excited <laughs> um, simply because as everybody know, it was a must need that what happened to my dad happened. Mm -hmm. um, at first I thought it was a negative thing, but he had to go away so the comforter could come to, to me. Mm. And I accepted the call. I'm not yeah. ashamed anymore. That's I'm willing, it. I'm a willing right. worker, so I'm excited <laughs> about what I'm doing. And I want to speak to everyone, as my dad has taught us, it is not about your now. Go mm. ahead and work on your now, mm -hmm. but now are we sons of God, and it still does not yet, yet appear. appear. Well, shall mm -hmm. be. Yes. So I the want time, the millennials the to know that okay. your shall be is so mm -hmm. much greater mm -hmm. than what is right now. My People God, my God. You, mm -hmm. And they want to judge who you are, who they see with their eyes. Mm -hmm. But don't worry about it. Keep my working on you and just know that we all are sons of God and all souls. Oh, are yes. Mine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I'm glad you said that because now you know I camp out on that, that we are all sons of God. Because when you really study, you understand that son has nothing to do with gender. It has everything to do with position and authority. Yes. And he said the earth is groaning, moaning, yes. waiting for the manifestation, the yes. unveiling yes. of the sons. Well, guess what? The veil has been lifted. Right. And the sons are in the earth, glory to God, to do what it is that we're supposed to do. Tasha, we want to come back to you because we want to make sure that people understand where the event is and what time it's going to take place. It, again, it's going to be at the Awareness Center International, 900 South Pine Street, Little Rock, Arkansas. Yes. Now, doors will be open. We only have one service on that day. Mm. And doors will early. be open at 3, but the event will start at 4 o'clock on time. Amen. Amen. We are excited. People of God, listen. You do not want to miss a night of honor for the Apostle Lawrence Braggs, glory to God. He has touched so many lives, not just in this city, but across this nation, yes. glory to God. And people are simply coming back to say thank you. You wanna know how powerful thank you is? Remember when Jesus healed the lepers? The Bible says that one, when he looked at himself and saw that his life had changed, then he went back to say thank you. Jesus asked the question, wasn't there some more that I healed? But because he was healed, the 
scripture says he was made whole. Now, what is the difference in being healing and being made whole? Thank you, first of all. But second of all, heal, if you've got leprosy, it just stops. You don't lose any more limbs. You don't uh, be sick anymore. But when you are whole, whatever you lost was restored. And there are some individuals now that you have been healed, glory to God, but you need to be made whole. And how are you made whole? When you come back simply to say thank you. Now, we don't want you to just show up, glory to God, because we want to let him know that we appreciate the words that he has spoken into our lives and the changes that he has made. So we're asking you for a special gift, glory to God. Come bearing gifts. One of the things in my study of the order of Melchizedek, you never appear before a king without a gift. So we're bringing our gifts. Lakeisha, talk to us. Well, I'm excited, y'all. I don't, I really don't <laughs> want to preach, but I'm excited because I'm watching, I've watched my father go through so many things and mm -hmm. I've watched him still come out standing. Victorious. Pushing, victorious. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never, we have people who have seen him when the stroke hit mm -hmm. the whole left side, he was not able to walk, move his left arm his left leg and we actually literally had to carry him in the house. It mm. went from carrying him into the house and to us speaking over him. Yes. So pushing, mm -hmm. pushing. He's been going, going, going and now mm -hmm. he don't even want that stick. <laughs> he is so ready. God has downloaded on him. He sits in a, in his man cave mm -hmm. and I go and I sit at his feet. Before I preach, I, I, I lay out because I, you always mm -hmm. need a covering. Yes, you know, indeed. Yes, indeed. I don't feel yeah. like that I don't need nobody covering. You always mm -hmm. have to have Yes, covering. indeed. So mm -hmm. when I go and I sit at his feet, Revelation. So he said, baby, I want you, I'm going to take the people into the deep. Mm -hmm. And then and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to anoint you. God has anointed you mm -hmm. to teach them how to swim. swim. So Woo! it's been a mm -hmm. journey. I'm mm -hmm. excited and I wouldn't change it. You know, I'm, I'm just excited where God has taken me because saying yes, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. You yes, it can have swag mm -hmm. and, and honey be saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy That's Ghost. Right. Yes. Because when you know the power oh, that yeah. this tongue has, you will change your conversation. Yes, indeed. Right. Yes, indeed. So yes, I'm indeed. excited. Mm -hmm. I am too. I am too. And I'm so glad that you said that because I want us to understand and to know that we are not doing this because we think he needs it. Right. right. Oh, no. Oh. Queen of Sheba, when she went to Solomon, she didn't take him all that stuff because he needed it. She understood the power of giving yes. to a king. Yes. Not only her, uh, when Abraham paid tithe, gave tithe to Melchizedek, it wasn't, the Bible says in the 13th chapter of Genesis that Abraham was already rich before he gave tithe, but he recognized the anointing yeah. and the blessing that Melchizedek had in his hand. We recognize the blessing upon Apostle Bragg's life. Listen, his best days yes. are still ahead of him, glory to God. If we yes. think, glory to God, that we've seen the best of his days, we are sadly mistaken. I'm telling you his best days are in front of him and all we want to do is to celebrate those days that God is doing in his life. Yes. Well, I'm excited because not only um, when you said that it made me think about how the Lord has been dealing with us about the second coming of him, period. Mm. And you know, I'm like, God, he's, he was so powerful. He's so powerful now and then before, and I'm just trying to, I don't know if we, the city and the world is gonna be able to handle it. He said, yes, he's gonna mm -hmm. be able to handle it because I, he drops those seeds into different sons and daughters and mm -hmm. it's gonna spread abroad and, and it's not gonna, be, not gonna come unnoticed. And that's why I thank y'all for the, the 23rd, everybody ACI, they have been doing a lot of footwork, y'all. We've been Thank going door to door. Jam pack, wall to wall, yes. Wall to wall, we, mm -hmm. our team, we have a team and they have really been working. So I'm excited about the 23rd. God is about to do something so big that's so beyond what we've seen and that's tangible. I'm trying to get my mind and my body ready <laughs> right. for where he's about to take us. Oh yeah, and the, and the I'm sorry, go ahead. I heard something um, this morning when I woke up, because uh, I, I knew we had to be here, but I woke up at five o'clock and I was praying and I wanted to tell my dad before I left, but I said that I would wait. But as you all were talking about him, I was thanking God because the Lord has showed me uh, that he will not only rise and he will build, but the wind is on his back right now. Ooh, yeah. mm, mm, I mm, felt this mm, so this mm. morning. Thank your Lord. The mm. wind is on his back. My God. He can't mm, do mm. anything but heal his mm. body. And mm -hmm. the Lord showed me divine 
healing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I spoke about that the other Sunday, and I called every sickness out. Yes, because indeed. Not only on his body, but the whole entire world and mm -hmm. what's going on in the world. But it starts with our leader, and I, that I promise you, the set man. And mm -hmm. I see with my very eyes healing taking place from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And yes, I'm, indeed. I'm experiencing mm -hmm. because I live in the house, I see it every day. Mm -hmm. and Amen. I promise you, he is mm. building Woo. and he has a mm. word that he's mm -hmm. a now word. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. And he always has. And so this is what I think is going to happen as well. Once we be began to honor him, I remember that he was wearing the title, walking in the office of an apostle mm -hmm. when it was not popular. Right. When they said that there were no more apostles after the ones that traveled with uh, Jesus, but he was willing to do that. And so he encountered mm -hmm. a severe attack even in his body, right. but he did not stop, glory right. to God. And so as a result of that, God is saying he is honoring him, but not only is he honoring him, God said that this is gonna spread abroad because many leaders are left without honor right. after giving their entire life glory right. to God to the kingdom of God and then people act as if they have not done anything God said that this is going to be a shift in the nation glory to God those that are standing on the sideline cheering somebody on that they spoke into their lives and nobody noticed God said he's getting ready to bring them back to the forefront mm -hmm. celebrate them with honor mm -hmm. simply because we said yes to God yes and to honor Dr. Ellie Braggs. We are excited about February the 23rd. Yes. Go ahead and tell us again where it's gonna take place and what we can expect. Okay, the Awareness Center International, 900 South Pine Street, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72204 at four o'clock, doors open at three o'clock. Come expecting yes. of tribute, honor, mm -hmm. thanks, gifts, yes, singing, preaching, well, Dancing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Excitement. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And listen, we want to let you know that uh, the numbers that she gave out earlier, they're going to be scrolling across the screen. Right. If you want to call, listen, for some reason that you're not able to be there and you say, listen, I want to be a part, then you're going to be able to cash app. You're going to be able to PayPal. You're going to be able to send it in the mail. Glory to God. We do not want to allow any gift that's desired to be given and received not to be. So people of God, mark your calendars now. February the 23rd at 4 o'clock, 900 South Pine. It is going to be smoke in the city. We're going to have closing words from the assistant pastor, the apostle, Lakeisha Braggs. Well, <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Um, I mm. want to do, I do want to, uh, two things that we forgot. We, if you were a old choir member, Trump yes, Zion, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Even if you sing and you, if you were part of the choir mm. years ago that Dr. Braggs used to play for. Wow. Um, well, they're having, oh, yeah. it will be a Facebook flyer. You can go on the Awareness Center page. You can contact um, uh, Melissa Morris. If you check the Facebook page out, all info is on there. Not only that, a community of dancers. You don't have wow. to be a member. Mm. It's a flyer out. Mm. We're trying to come together to bring a community choir, community mm. dancers. If all the info will be on the Facebook page, Awareness Center. Um, Diversity Institute page, my page, Lakeisha Braggs, Latasha my page, Glory to God. Jefferson's page. Mm -hmm. But again, y'all, I am excited because this year is the mm. first year that I really feel like that I can speak mm. what I want and walk away right. knowing no way. that it's going to happen. Yes, indeed, yes. When I drop my seeds on Sunday, mm -hmm. I tell them, stop tucking for a rainy day. That's Whoop. right. You have to trust your seed. Drop it down, mm -hmm. walk away knowing, mm -hmm. stop getting on your knees and begging God and asking oh my him to God. need. Yes. He ain't begging no more. That's it. No, no, no. We are only need. decreeing. Decreeing. Because we have And that power. means to legislate. I promise you, speak it forth. Mm -hmm. we, they mm -hmm. say, well, I ain't no prophet. Well, yeah, I'm a prophet. Yes, prophets it. speak forth. Yes, so once it. I speak <laughs> right. it, I know that I should walk away as a pregnant mother expecting mm -hmm. yes, indeed. to be birthed on the inside it to the world because y'all I promise you when you have been all over the world That's just funny. trying to search to and fro trying to figure out what you what you want to do who you are and when you finally the awakens the awakening take place on the inside and you say oh 
God, I do know who I am. Right. Yes, indeed. I can, yeah, yeah. Have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can have anything that my heart desires. Yes. And you know what? Tie God's hands mm-hmm. and, and tell him, uh, God, you got, I got to have that. You mm-hmm. got to bless me with that because much is given, much is required. Guess what? The more he give to you, the more you're going to have to give back to him. That's it. That's so, it. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. going to <laughs> Because I love her. I, I, Ooh, this woman listen, right here, listen, I love her. Listen, listen, I tell you, it is going to be absolutely awesome. February the 23rd at 4 o'clock at 9 o'clock. 900 South Pine in Little Rock, Arkansas. Listen, it's going down. Mm-hmm. It's going to be smoking the city. Yeah. Glory to God. You do not want to miss this night of honor. But can I tell you something? It's going to be a night of honor, but it's also going to be like a reunion. Yeah, I hear God say it. Right. You know, people, yeah. listen, we don't want anything mm-hmm. to hinder you that's from right. coming to be a part of it. Glory to God. If he's touched your life in the past, whether it's now, glory to God, or then, come on and let's celebrate. Glory to God. Because I promise you, before we we leave there because I know him. He's going to speak a word that's going to catapult us into new dimensions. Glory to God. So you don't want to miss it. People of God, it's all taking place February the 23rd, 900 South Pine in Little Rock, Arkansas, 4 o'clock p.m., a night of honor, Apostle Dr. Ellie Briggs. You do not want to miss it. Again, we want to thank Latasha. We want to thank Lakeisha for coming on. Glory to God. We want you to tell somebody about this night. Set the date now, mark your date, mark your calendar, February the 23rd at four o'clock. Let me tell you something. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. And I can declare and decree, you better get there early. Yes. If you want a good seat, now you might be able to sit somewhere. And you know, I'm hoping that we'll have monitors on the outside because I expect standing room only. This is going to shift things in the nation to honor the Apostle Lawrence E. Braggs. Listen, we're out of time, but not out of word. Until the next time, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you is our prayer. Apostle Brenda Jefferson Ministries International invites you to partner with us to empower all of God's people for kingdom living. Your investment will help ensure that this powerful word blesses hearts and changes lives throughout the nation and around the globe. For your investment of any amount, we'll send you the Apostle's powerful message, Finishing Well, on CD to say thank you for your support. Send your best gift today to Apostle Brenda Jefferson Ministries International, P.O. Box 6778, Sherwood, Arkansas, 72124, or visit our website at www.apostlebj.com. We pray that you've been tremendously blessed by the teaching of Apostle Brenda Jefferson. If you would like this message in its entirety, please call 501-813-4634 or 501-834-5477. Until the next time, may God bless you and keep you is our prayer.